It is Tuesday, 2 22 22. Welcome to CBS News Minnesota morning update. Snow. We are on snow watch. Ooh, baby. It is not giant totals yet, but the timing and the temperature combined for troubles. Let's take you live at 7 30 this morning at the traffic cameras. Uh, windy, yes, but if you can kind of uh, squint and focus in on this shot. We have two vehicles that there it is two vehicles spun out and uh, big slowdowns there. But this picture gives you a sense for what kind of snowy conditions we have. Why don't we click through and show you some of the other crashes in the Twin Cities. This is Highway 52. This thing has been a real issue in the Rosemount area in the early morning hours. This has been a crash that they're just finishing the cleanup of. What else do we have out there to show people? Brooklyn Center, maybe 694 and 252. There's a car, and this is just kind of the on-ramp situation. And look at the delays here as a tow truck tries to get a car that was sort of like hanging on a guardrail. So slick conditions out there, trouble on the roads. A lot of schools have gone to e-learning days where the kids are uh, doing their schoolwork from home. Uh, other schools with early dismissal to try to avoid the evening commute. And Riley is sticking around with us with a look at what we're seeing right now weather-wise, but also kind of a little guide to help us through the rest of the day, Riley. Yeah, the issue with it is just the, it's a light fluffy snow because the cold temperatures, but the issue is just the blowing snow, and that's why we're seeing that kind of going is over the Is that what's keeping roadways. the totals maybe a little lower than what we first thought? We're well, still going to get up to three to five inches. Yeah, that's so, a good, I mean, you still get it, but it, yeah. when it blows over the roadways constantly, that's why, you know, having issues plus sure. the visibility reduced. So, you just got to pack the patience, and when you're leaving this morning, you have to just drive slow. I mean, yeah. even when I was coming into work this morning, people were flying past me like at 70, and that's just the wrong thing to do. And then you end up like this when right. that happens. So the right. advice is just to slow down because we have to get out of the roadways. We got to go to work. Some areas are still at school, so we got to, you know, do our daily routine. But you can see the effects that another band of some uh, heavier snow coming in just to the south of uh, the Twin Cities around Interstate 35 Lakeville, that sort of thing, kind of seeing more of the heavier snowfall. And this is going to be where those heavier bands set up to, or the uh, uh, amounts could be a little bit higher too. So getting ready to move into Bloomington, Woodbury Cottage Grove, you're going to start to see the intensity of these snow showers pick up as well. And pretty much everyone is dealing with visibility issues with that wind coming in. And that's one of the issues that we've been having. So kind of planning your day out. Just expect the snow showers to continue through your midday and through your evening commute. And then the, uh, the flakes will start to decrease by this evening in the overnight hours. And that's going to lead to a dry night ahead. Now looking at the kind of the snowfall scenario, still about three to five, I'd say would be the safe zone for the Twin Cities out of this. But if you're under some of the heavier bands may pick up a little bit more. I think that's going to fall a little bit north and east, though, as we can take a look here where this might set up. So uh, forecasting in addition to what we have seen could end up something like this. I, don't, I always say don't get locked on these numbers because obviously it could change. People can't help themselves, though. Can but they, they will. They can't. Especially when it's 4.6. If I don't hit 4.6, <laughs> I definitely will get the tweets. So it's a computer it's model. Fine. We're doing our best, well, right? There's many We're doing our best. Well, that you look at and you kind of take the averages. And then you pick the best, yes. But either way, you slice and dice it. snowing out there. Just be careful. Be safe out there when you're heading out this morning and afternoon. All right. Very good. Right. Yeah. Just like people. Chill out, man. It's going to be fine. It's snowing. We said it was going to snow. What's happening? What did we do back snowing. in the day when it was like in the 70s and 80s? I mean, it snowed. You, we used to have Bud Crailing who just like drew a picture yeah, and I stuff. I can do that too. Put a magnet up there. I can just put a snowflake up and just say, here. <laughs> That's this all is we the, got. This is what we All got. right, so here's our question for you today. We're getting the snow, and then after the snow, back in the icebox. So here's our question. Uh, and we haven't done this in a while, so I'm curious. With this winter, we've had such cold i wonder what you prefer would you take one foot of snow or a couple of days at 20 below zero so i had tweeted yesterday in response to somebody i don't mind the snow i could do without the extreme cold that i don't like that's me riley's the same i don't mind the snow uh but but maybe you hate the snow maybe you're sick of it you don't want to shovel it you don't want to snow blow it uh, it's dangerous to drive in. I mean, I don't know. I can see both sides. Let us know what you would take. A foot of snow or temps 20 below, and we'll talk through some of that in a minute. Round one of this winter blast led to some dangerous conditions on the roads in North Dakota. Look at this. Interstate 94, Castleton, just outside Fargo. What a mess. My gosh, fire crews out there just trying to extricate people, get them out of those vehicles. 
Oh my gosh, just awful. Six people hurt in this pretty massive pileup. Pretty crazy pictures coming in from there. Wow. A memorial service today to celebrate the life of Deshaun Hill. 15 years old, um, disgusting, offensive, that he's gone. What happened? We still don't have a lot of details. We know he was a star quarterback and honor roll student at North High School, 15 years old. Something happened at a, a near a bus stop after school. Why would somebody shoot and kill him? Uh, someone is arrested, but police have not shared any details about what they think happened. The service today begins at two o'clock. A family without their loved one. Uh, young life with so much potential. We'll never know what Deshaun Hill could have been. Uh, Got to stop. For months, we've been reporting on the record crime that has been plaguing our streets. And our Reg Chapman got a really unique look into this by talking to an actual gang member. Very rare to have a gang member, an active gang member, telling his story. We did agree to protect his identity as he shared what he's seeing happening on our streets. The big gangs are the SUBs and the YNTs. Those are the biggest gangs on the north side of Minneapolis. There's not no structure in the streets no more. It's leaders out there in gangs and cliques. There ain't no leaders. Everybody wants to be a leader. So cliques, right? Our source is saying that these cliques, it's pretty much the same as a gang, but there's no organization. So there's no leadership, and that's why things are so out of control. Police tell us the people in them get control, at least temporarily, by having the most money, the most guns. So people are stealing cars. They're trying to sell them. Uh, violence comes in when, you know, it's, it's tale as old as gangs. Somebody in one side gets killed. Their rivals go for retaliation. It goes back and forth. Some of this uh, beefs that have been years old that are kind of coming to a head now. The reporting is really amazing. You should go to WCCO.com and watch this story. One of the things that really jumped out at me is how the gangs are recruiting kids, 12, 13 year olds, sending those kids out to shoot and kill people because they know that those kids are not going to be sent away to prison for a long period of time. Um, Real difficult issues to try to figure out how to get a hold of. But Reg's investigative report is at WCCO.com. Closing arguments today in the federal trial for those three former officers who were there as Derek Chauvin killed George Floyd. All of them testified in their own defense. They all blamed Chauvin. After closing arguments, the case goes to the jury. We'll see if they, they buy that or if they buy the prosecution view that despite the fact that these were junior officers... And Derek Chauvin was the senior training officer on the scene. Did these three have a legal obligation to do something? Um, pretty interesting legal question here. Uh, just part of a very, very sad case. So we'll be standing by for that. Um, who's got like an iPhone 4? Are you using 3G? I can't imagine there are many people using this, but today AT&T is shutting it down. 3G, adios. So if you've got a flip phone, maybe you're still rocking your Motorola Razor, uh, maybe an old smartphone, that's not going to work anymore. So 3G also is used sometimes in like some home automation products. AT&T is the first major carrier to shut it down. And they say they're doing it so they can clear the way for 5G. Your phone says 5G is being used, but it's not really full 5G yet from AT&T. So we'll be watching for that. 3G, you're not working anymore. T-Mobile and Verizon also ending that this year. Getting ready for the Final Four. We're getting ready for the women. The best basketball teams in the country will come to Target Center in Minneapolis in just a little more than a month. And there are going to be festivities around it, right? So we will learn more about the plans. Planning has been going on for some time. What are they going to do? What will be going on in Minneapolis in a month? Look forward to that news coming out today. Twin Cities Summer Jam announced its 2022 concert lineup. They're having a concert in person, Canterbury Park in Shakopee. It starts on Thursday, 21st. Um, you know, who's a hairball fan? Oh, baby. They got them. Twin City Summer Jam called in all their connections and said, 
well, they said it'd be fun to have a Minnesota night. So Hairball is a heavy metal cover band. They're super fun. Thursday, July 21st. And Friday, the 22nd, you got Kane Brown, super hot country artist, Nelly. Uh, nice lineup there on Friday. And then how about Saturday? Blake Shelton, Trace Adkins. Mason Dixon line, big lineup, so Twin City Summer Jam tickets go on sale on Friday. Let's talk about the weather, because that's what you're going to do all day. You know you will. You might complain. You might say, Jason, it snows in Minnesota. We get it. You love it. You love it. You want to see a reporter standing out on the side of the road. You want to see him cold. You want to see that snow coming down. Don't lie to yourself. We do it for you. And I'm very glad that I don't have to do it anymore. Nicole prefers the snow. Hi, Nicole. Thanks for watching. Cold is too bitter, especially for the young ones. It's true. You know who doesn't like the cold? Olympic cross-country runners. Some of you understand that reference. Thanks, Nicole. Here's Trisha. If I don't have to go anywhere, I'd rather, rather have the snow. Trisha, very good point. Yeah, it's, if, if you have to go somewhere, the snow can be way worse than the extreme cold. Thanks, Trisha. Christina, snow for me. Foot of snow. Why, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want it? Thanks, Christina. Amanda, same deal. Rather have the snow. Thank you, Amanda. Here's Jennifer. I would take the cold versus the snow. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to do anything other than bundle up. I suppose that's the benefit of the cold. The snow, you have to shovel your sidewalk or whatever. Driveway. Thanks, Jennifer. Kimberly wants the snow. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Like the bone chilling, chilling cold. That's a no go for me. Thanks, Kimberly. Carmen says snow for sure. All right, very good. The, the best news is that you don't get to pick. <laughs> Just, <laughs> it's a fun little parlor game though. We will have weather updates all day on Facebook, on Twitter, streaming here on CBS News Minnesota. So our whole weather team will be on this for you. Make sure you know what's going on, but uh, maybe, you know, if you can stay home, kind of nuzzle up. Get a blanket on and watch us all day. Just keep it right here on CBS News Minnesota. Glad you hung out with us this morning. We appreciate it always. We do this every day at 730. So we'll see you again tomorrow.